Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and this video is about Lomochrome Metropolis. If you're new here and you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So in this video, I went around Hawaii and shot some Lomochrome Metropolis in the 35mm size. This film has a film speed of 100 to 400. I shot it at 400 because I want some flexibility and I'm not, I guess, super confident with this film as in I don't shoot this that often. So I decided to just shoot it at 400. This retails for I think 12 to 13 dollars give or take. So it is a little more expensive than other film stocks depending where you are, such as Fujifilm Superior or Coleco 200. But like the name suggests, Lomochrome Metropolis is primarily used or made for shooting urban landscapes or I guess as they say on their website, they say Lomochrome Metropolis is built for exploring the urban jungle in all of its grit and beauty. And some of the main characteristics of this film that makes it different from other film stocks is that it desaturates colors, muse tones, and makes contrast pop. So it definitely has different colors and tones compared to things like Cinestill or Kodak or Fujifilm. So I wanted to just try shoot this in Hawaii, which I thought would be a little different because even though Honolulu is by all accounts a city, it doesn't necessarily have a lot of what people would think of as big city aspects such as, for example, we don't have like a big subway system like New York City. They're building a rail, but it's not going to be to the level of like a New York City or Tokyo or any other big city that has large public transportation. And we also don't have like necessarily a very big skyline like Chicago or Los Angeles, for example. So I thought Metropolis would be sort of interesting to try shoot in a city that also has a lot of nature and more suburban mom and pop sort of vibes. So hope you guys are interested and if you are then keep watching the video. Also forgot to mention I will be shooting this film in this camera. This is the Canon AF 35M also known as the Canon Olive Boy. I have been using this quite a bit lately to go out shooting and I do like the clunky A's aesthetic and the very loud shutter sound. So yeah, I will possibly make a video on this camera in the future. So you should definitely subscribe so you get to see that video. So in this First photo I took inside the Waikiki food hall. So this food hall opened like right before the pandemic started. So I'm surprised that they still have the businesses there and stuff like that. But hey, that's good. Local businesses need all our support. So I ended up getting food here before exploring Waikiki because I wanted to take pictures of buildings and stuff, obviously, to use normal Comertropolis to its full capabilities, or at least try to. So this is inside the food hall, and I noticed that the even it was probably underexposed a little since it's kind of grainy and dark. And also the tones were kind of not how they, I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more cooler, but I guess since it was underexposed, it, they turned out more kind of muddy or warmer, I guess you could say. So I don't think this film does well if you underexpose it. So that's maybe something you should keep in mind if you do decide to go shoot this. And maybe that's also why it seems to be more for the outdoors, even though it has the 100 to 400 ISO. So in this photo, it's of this pathway with some tourists walking on it to go to the shopping area in Waikiki. I just wanted to take a picture of something that had a lot of greenery and as you can see there's grass and there's plants 
And I think Lomocomb Metropolis really excels in the green color. So even if you don't necessarily take pictures of cities, maybe you can take pictures of some nice urban jungles or some plant moms, homes, you know, filled with a bunch of plants or a nice botanical garden. I think Lomocomb Metropolis greens are really nice. I would say they're pretty high up there along with Fujifilm Superior 400 greens. These are two photos of the outside of the Royal Hawaiian Resort. As you can see in my video portion, that the building in the video and in real life is very pink. Kind of like a millennial rose pink in a way. It's really pretty, but I was just curious to see how it would turn out on Lomocore Metropolis since the film is known for desaturating colors and as you can see, it definitely desaturated all the pink out of the building to a point where it's like a very pale pink, almost white. And it's interesting. Like you wouldn't, it doesn't look like the resort anymore because one of the things that makes the Royal Hawaiian Resort stand out is the bright pink color. Because most of the other resorts are more of like an earthy color or some sort of white off-white color. So their pink just stands out. So it's kind of interesting seeing the building in like a more muted tone, but I still think the photo looks nice. Especially in this one where it has the green tree popping out on the side. I think it serves as sort of like a nice juxtaposition and contrast. And in this photo, there are some tourists just lounging around in this outside area of the resort. I really like how the tourists are just chilling and there's nice archways in the resort. And I noticed that Metropolis does have a very coarse green, I feel, especially when it's underexposed. But what I really like about this photo is that the outside kind of looks almost dreamy with the greens and stuff. It looks like maybe it's a little out of focus, but I kind of like it because it looks sort of like dreamy on the outside and more like, I guess, I don't know, stern or serious on the inside. I took this photo looking down one of the hallways and honestly, I think this is one of my favorite photos I took with this roll because I like how it has the leading line of the carpet and the repetition of the columns. So it really draws your eye towards the center and it kind of gives me slight accidental Wes Anderson vibes. If you took the Grand Budapest Hotel and muted all the colors, you would get something like this. So here is a photo of the Louis Vuitton store in Waikiki. Now you're probably wondering, why did you take a photo of a LV store? Well, the building that the LV store is in is actually one of those national registered historical places slash landmarks. And that building was built in 1929 by an architect named Hart Wood and supposedly part of this Hawaiian colonialism style of architecture. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but yes, the building is really old. It's one of the oldest in Waikiki and one of the oldest probably in the state, I guess you could say. And this was built before Hawaii even became a state. So it does have some sort of historical, I guess, importance and stuff like that. So I wanted to take a picture of the building juxtaposed next behind, in front of the more modernism style building in the back.
So in this full, I took up the beach in Waikiki. I really like how there's that support at the bottom that says rescue. I feel like that kind of makes the full pop a little. So in this photo though, the lighting was not really ideal because it was really harsh and it was kind of cloudy. Then again, this whole day it was sort of going in and out of cloudy and not cloudy. So I noticed that the film really desaturates the photo and you definitely don't see the blue that well and it has a nice look to it. But I would say that if you're going for vacation in Hawaii, you probably don't want to go for this look. You probably want to see bright turquoise waters in your film photos when you do take photos. So I would say if you're going to shoot Metropolis of the Beach, maybe it'd be more for an artsy sort of aesthetic and not necessarily your nice vacation photos. In this second beach photo, the lighting was more ideal and in real life, the water has that light, pretty turquoise teal color that you think of when you think about a tropical beach water destination. So in this photo, as you can see, the film desaturated all the color or a lot of the color, I guess you could say, in the water. But I did kind of like the pale blue color of the water. And this is one of my favorite photos of this role because I think it kept that vintage look of film but with the desaturation, it gave it a whole new look and aesthetic and I kind of like it. I wouldn't mind having this in a little frame because I think it does look different and unique and I just like the cool tones and I think the film does blues and greens really well and I think it shows. As long as you're okay with the theme of a more muted color scheme rather than bright and saturated. This is a photo of Hawaii's state capitol building. As you can see, it's very modernism since it was probably built around that time period anyway. So I think the film did a really good job of capturing the building. I love the lighting, I love the contrast, I love the tones. So I think if you use this film to shoot, I guess, very white buildings or buildings that fall under modernism, the film does a really good job of making it look awesome. In this photo is Iolani Palace, which is where the Royal Hawaiians used to live back in the day. When this opens, if it opens, I'm not sure, I haven't been inside in years. I highly recommend visiting it though, it's pretty cool and you get to learn a lot about Hawaiian culture and its history. So in this photo, as you can see, the desaturation is clearly there. The reds and the blues and the flag are very muted and I would say on the cooler side, but I do like the way that the palace turned out. I think even though it's a historical old building, the film does a great job of capturing the details and preserving the look. And I also think since it's an old building, it looks better on film anyway, since film does have that vintage aesthetic. So here's a photo of some buildings in downtown Honolulu. I would say downtown Honolulu is probably one of the few areas of the state that is pretty urban and you can kind of see it being in other places. I took a photo of this particular street because of the different facades and the buildings and I wanted to see just how it would look on film. And I really like how the brick looks on this. I think the film does a great job of capturing the essence of the brick and the different colors and it has a nice contrast next to the other buildings so it pops out in a way.
and these two bowls I also took them in Chinatown I really like the one of the lady sweeping I feel like it looks calming in a way since when you imagine in Chinatown you always sort of imagine being bustling and loud and to me these photos are sort of the opposite of what you would picture since this was after Chinatown and all the stores closed for the day since they closed pretty early in Honolulu so to me these photos are just nice and calming and sort of peaceful So here is a photo of a mural in Kaka'ako, which is sort of like a more slowly or already kind of gentrified area of Honolulu. I wanted to try to take a photo of something that was more street art, and I like this mural in particular. But the lighting was not in my favor since at the time there was a big shadow, and as you can see, the photo is a little dark, and the grain is very apparent. So I would definitely say if you underexpose this film in any sort of way, shape, or form, the grain will be very clear. So unfortunately, I don't really care for this photo. And I was also hoping, I guess if I exposed it better, then maybe I could see more of how the colors would turn out. Since it, was, it would probably be a little bit desaturated, but also high contrast, since that's what it says on the Lomography website on what the film does. This photo, this is actually really close to the mural photo. And as you can see, we have those very typical lowish rise apartment buildings that are box shaped and in almost every major city now. In real life, they're very bright red and yellow. I guess ketchup and mustard colors. I don't know who picked out that color scheme. But yes, as you can see, these saturated tones. But in a way, I feel like it's a little bit more easier on the eyes since it's not a bright red and yellow. So I feel like it does kind of go in more with the landscape rather than kind of sticking out like a sore thumb with these boxy red, yellow, slightly low-rise apartments. I'm not sure what the official name of these apartment styles are called. I think it's like 4x5 or something like that. is a picture of the Pan Am building even though obviously Pan Am does not own the building or is in business anymore but this is just one of those random tall brutalist office buildings in Honolulu and as you can see it's definitely a relic of its time since you see the name Pan Am on the building and just the style of architecture being that it's brutalist it just looks like it was taken this bowl was taken back in like the 1950s, 60s, etc. And it's kind of nicely juxtaposed in front of the more recently built modern condo in the back. So I wanted to take a picture of a building that's a little bit more run down. So in this photo is a picture of the Queen Theater, which used to be a pretty popular theater spot back in the day, but unfortunately it's just sort of sitting there right now. They're supposedly planning to renovate, which I think will be pretty cool, especially if they can keep like most of the original structure and just keep that vintage aesthetic going because I think it would look kind of cool because in that area there's a lot of restaurants and stuff so I think it would do well if it did reopen as a theater 
So we'll see what the future holds, but yeah, I just want to try to take a poll of something that was a little bit more run down. And I think even though the film took away some of the color, the yellow is still strong and the building looks nice. So I was walking around and I just saw this little plaza, I guess you can say, and I thought it kind of looked a little bit modernism, architecture sort of thing inspired. So I just took a photo of it and it was also green and I like the color green. So I just wanted to take a photo of it and I think it looks really nice on the film. As I said before, the film renders greens really nice and this building in particular has like a nice earthy sea green to it and I think the film captured it very well. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I like Lomo Chroma Chocolates, but there are a few places in the world where I do want to try and shoot it when things are a little better, such as Tokyo and Hong Kong. I think that would be so fun to go out and shoot some Lomo Chroma Chocolates. So hopefully in the future I will be able to do that and maybe I'll make a video on it. So anyways, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and comment below on your experience of shooting Lomo Chroma Chocolates. Anyways, thanks again, and see you guys next time. Bye.